Probably the easiest 100 kilometers I've ever done in my life. Humber Bridge. Oh, yeah. This is a killer. Hey. <laughs> that stage has absolutely killed me. This event has been one hell of a roller coaster. So I need to try and pull myself together a bit now. Good morning, welcome to North London. So this is the start for uh, London Edinburgh London and I'm here, it's a day early. I'm just gonna go and register now. I've got my bike here. I've got a ton of stuff on my back, ready to put in the, uh, in the drop boxes. And yeah, this is, uh, this is where it all begins. So that's me registered. Oh, I have got my drop box packed, or drop bags packed. I'm gonna drop these off now, ready to, to head off. Uh, they weigh an absolute ton. <laughs> I've packed a lot of things in there. Uh, hopefully I'll have enough uh, and the right type of things. That's probably the most important. I've put the right things in the right bag. So yeah, pretty much done now today. Um, still morning, I've got plenty of time to, to relax and chill out, ready for a very early start tomorrow. <laughs> time to start. Ready to go. Five o'clock. What time is your start? Six. We can have a proper time to make the long journey to go. Fifteen hundred kilometres left to ride. So I just passed just past 100 kilometers and that was the first checkpoint done. Uh, Probably the easiest 100 kilometers I've ever done in my life. There's a group of about 50, 60 of us all rolled into checkpoint one at the same time. It's been flat. Uh, yeah, really easy going at the moment. I think the next 200 again is flat, but I was one of the first into the checkpoint. Got away a bit earlier, so now it's just a smaller group. But I'm just gonna sit in the back, take my time, and uh, stay out the way. So now just over 230 kilometers done and I'm on my own. So in uh, Lincolnshire, we're in Lincolnshire now and uh, we've got some gradual hills. Uh, the first 200k were all groups and then as the hill started it just split up so I'm now on my own and two checkpoints done. I've got another 10k to checkpoint three. And checkpoint four, Kessel, as my first drop bag is. But I think, if I'm honest, it's too soon. I wish I'd put that on further. Well, let's see. On the way back, I might be glad of it. Hey, check this out. Humber Bridge. Nearly 300 k's.
Thank you. Alright, where are we headed? Oh, how are you doing? I'm very good, how are you? <laughs> Not too bad. It's now, uh, it's just gone 7 o'clock. So I've been on the bike for 14 hours. Done just over 200 k's. Uh, sorry, 400 k's. And I've been on my own for 200 k's. And uh, now we're there. <coughs> I'm past, I think it was the fifth control and it's now that the hills are really starting so just as your legs are getting tired they bring up the hills uh, it's going to be hilly from here all the way into Scotland all the way to Edinburgh and all the way back to the control I've just been through so now it's uh, this where it's all the middle it's this big chunk here this is going to be hard So I'm in, uh, I'm in Brampton, this is where I got my second bag and I'm just going to get my head down for 20 minutes, I've got a decent lead, um, but yeah, let's just have a power nap. Good morning, welcome to Scotland, I'm on leg nine, gone through the night now and next one is Dunfermline, so that's the other side of the fourth. Uh, so yeah, when I get there, that's the halfway point. I've got another four hours, 100k, so probably another four hours to get there. Uh, a couple of little sleeps at night. The only problem at Moffitt, the last one, I went to start charging my main light and realised that it won't charge off a battery so I haven't got enough to get me through the second night I'm gonna have to find plugs along the way and hope I can get enough charge we'll see just had a bit of a monster climb out of Moffat I'm looking forward to downhill off this through a bit of a bad patch but it's downhill now to, uh, to Edinburgh this is a killer wow This is cool. Nearly at the checkpoint. 10k to go. Yay! <laughs> uh, thank you. So I'm nearly at Inner Leithen. It's the first uh, controllers I'm heading back down south. And this uh, that stage has absolutely killed me. I've just come to the top of a big hill and had a headwind the whole way so we had the winds kind of west southwest and just heading back this way it's ice torture so i've done i can't i don't even know what i've done it's about 800 820 and it's heating up and it's just tomorrow i know it's going to be even hotter although should be flatter when I get down there. Oh, yeah. oh. Right, downhill to Inleithen. I haven't been doing much videoing because uh, I've been up and down like a yo-yo. At the moment, I'm really bad. I'm just a few miles from uh, from a control. I'm going to have to go to sleep for a long time, and uh, I can't. I can't eat anything. Can't drink anything. I'm in a bad way. Yeah, I think I think the lead's slipping away now. Still got 600 k's to go almost, and I'm 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 in bits.
I was feeling really, really rough. Stopped, had a sleep for an hour and a half. The guys passed me, but now I'm feeling better. Let's go. Good morning, number two. I tell you what, this event has been one hell of a roller coaster for me. So I was, I thought I'd finished. I was even looking at trains to come back from Carlisle. I had an hour and a half sleep, still felt rubbish. I thought, right, just give it one more go, jump back on. And by that point, I'd lost the lead. But I just put in a monster 100k, taking it back. But now I'm feeling rubbish again. I've got just over an hour to the next control. I'm not sure what my lead is. I'm hoping I can have a little lie down. 15 minute power now. We'll see. I have no idea how far behind they are. So I've just passed, uh, been through checkpoint 15 and the one before Humber Bridge, we've got 300 kilometers to go. Um, it's boiling hot. And I'm knackered. <laughs> and they had to do a safety health check on me. <laughs> In some ways I don't blame them. But uh, there's no way I'm stopping. So yeah, 300 kilometers to go. I don't think I'm going to be doing it at the same average speed as when we came here. But it's, mm, apart from this first one, it's mostly flat, I think, I hope. Uh, yeah, crack on. We've got 250 k's to go. I think it's mostly flat. It's absolutely baking. That's what I'm struggling with the most now is, is the heat and just heat exhaustion. Just hope I can make it because I haven't got enough batteries to go through the night. If I lived in the fens, there is no way on this earth I would be a cyclist. Headwinds are crazy. I hate them. Just had a headwind for, well, I've still got one. It's going to be 250k headwind. I know I said at the start that the first 100k was the easiest I've ever done and I think I'm pretty sure this last 100k is going to be the hardest so now exactly 100k to go every single bit of me hurts I've never felt like this so maybe if I'm lucky four hours probably going to be more like four and a half so I just got to dig deep Need to stop and get uh, get a coffee or something because I'm I'm yeah struggling with that. So I need to try and pull myself together a bit now. Um, just under 100k. It's gonna take me a very long time, but I'm gonna do it. Although I've only got a couple of hours light left, and I don't know how much battery I've got left in the lights. But we'll see. Whatever happens, happens. Oh, yeah. Woo, 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 woo. Yeah, mm -hmm. Okay, so Thank you. 
Ashra. Morning. Well, it's now the day after. Uh, when I finished, I wasn't in a fit state to to say I'll do anything. Um, <laughs> still not feeling great. Absolute monster of uh, of an event. Hardest thing I've ever done by far. Uh, yeah, just absolutely brutal. The bike was perfect. A um, couple of things I would change. Didn't take any gloves. Probably the biggest thing. Hands got cold and my uh, my wrists are are knackered. There's just blisters all over my palms. Um, yeah. Otherwise, it's just a brilliant event. The people that are out supporting me, people I, I don't know who are obviously watching the tracker, coming out of their houses to go alongside the road and cheer one. It was just amazing. Absolutely brilliant. Um, yeah. Thanks for everyone for the support and uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed this um, and yeah, maybe we'll think about the next challenge then. Thank you.